Hey, 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 Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are, what part of the world you are in, I hope that you are having a good day. So today we have a Publix and an Amazon Fresh haul. So from Publix, we have the Garlic Alfredo. It is vegan. No dairy. Garlic Alfredo sauce made with avocado oil. And new recipe. No cashews. Um, I'm not sure if you know, but cashews, I've been told, once you swallow them, they're like eating razor blades. So, just something to note. Although they taste good, and on occasion, I still eat them. So, that's my disclaimer. <laughs> and we've tried this before, the plant-based mandarin orange crispy chicken. So, we're going to go ahead and try that again today. And then we'll show you what we got from Amazon Fresh. Um, that package is on the way, so... Stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. We got another Amazon haul here. Amazon Fresh. And we'll start with the smallest bag. Abe's. I don't know if you can see that clear. Abe's Vegan Banana Bread. I'm excited to try this. Mm. Yummy, yummy to my tummy. All right, let me grab another bag. I'll be right back. All right. Here's another one. This one's a little heavy. <laughs> okay. So we have a red onion here. And I have this bowl that I like to keep my my vegetables or fruits that don't need to be refrigerated that's where i normally keep them organic tomatoes these are plum tomatoes and these onions are organic by the way so here's an organic yellow and a red and you can see I don't know if you can see that. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, and you can tell the organic because it has five numbers instead of four. It has some organic bananas. Garlic, avocados. Oh, they're a little hard. I need to put those in a brown paper bag. So I'll save one of my Amazon Prime bags for that. Some Brussels sprouts. These are my favorite. <laughs> and two pears okay I'm gonna take my avocados and put those in the bag to help them ripen and I'm gonna grab another bag and I'll be right back all right here's another one got that prime logo <laughs> Cauliflower. I'm going to make some cauliflower wings with this. I'm excited about that. I got some just egg to go with my Brussels sprouts. And this is harmless coconut water. It naturally starts to turn pink. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put those away and I'll be right back. All right. Here's another one. We have some raisins. Now, I'm really going to have a treat. Some dried cranberries. Some almond butter. And some dried mangoes. With some of them, I'm going to put them on top of my banana bread. And with the rest, I'm going to make like my own trail mix. 
So I also have, let's see if it's in here, some pumpkin seeds that I'll use to put in the trail mix. And there's some walnuts somewhere. So some walnuts are going to go in there too. Um, I have a three bean chili. It's a vegan. Some red lentils. Love those. Some Nutiva coconut oil. Some vegan salsa. Well, you know salsa is vegan. But um, it doesn't have citric acid, which is important to me. Because it changes the flavor. So I can read you the ingredients. It's organic diced tomatoes. Um, tomato puree. Jalapenos. Distilled white white vinegar, salt, onion, dried onion, cayenne pepper, powder, salt, natural flavor, and organic garlic powder. Even though I didn't say organic in front of everything, everything in it is organic. Okay. Then I decided to get some couscous. And... Amazon Prime is affiliated with Whole Foods, so some of the, if you see the 365 brand, that's Whole Foods brand. Okay, I needed some more vanilla, and this is the non-alcohol version. And some agave. So let me grab another bag. I'll be right back. All right, we have two more bags. I have some salt-free garlic and herb seasoning, some organic Pompeian olive oil, some tostadas, everything bagel seasoning, gluten-free fettuccine, Here are my walnuts <laughs> and some taco seasoning. So I'm going to use my lentils and probably the walnuts make some wa more walnut meat and um, make tacos. Well, tostados um, with the salsa and the avocado. That's going to be good. And I love that the walnut gives it a little bit of a crunch. You can blend the walnuts until it's creamy, but I actually like having a little texture. It adds a little oomph to it. <laughs> All right, I have one more bag and I'll be right back. All right. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> I love it. I don't, if you like to eat, you get excited when you bring your groceries home. <laughs> Even though I didn't actually bring them home, they were bought to me. Um, some organic garbanzo beans. Again, this is the Whole Foods brand. This hot sauce is for my cauliflower wings, and it's the extra hot. And this is another one that has some... Not too many ingredients. Um, they say if you have more than 10 ingredients... And if you can't read those ingredients, you probably shouldn't get it if you're wanting to be a conscious eater. And I really don't do too much hot sauce because of the sodium. I normally use cayenne pepper. But like I said, I had a taste for the, um, uh, I'm going to make some cauliflower buffalo wings. So that's why I bought the hot sauce. And then if I have company, people come over, they ask for hot sauce. Um, so I'll have some, right? But the ingredients are aged cayenne red peppers, distilled vinegar, water, salt, natural flavor, and garlic powder. And that's it. So, again, that's the Frank's Red Hot Extra Hot. And I decided to try these Mary's Gone Crackers. They look so good. Everything crackers. So, like the everything bagel seasoning. Um, 
sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, poppy seeds, flax seeds. Has, has some really good stuff that will give you a good return on your investment, if you understand what I mean. <laughs> if you don't read between the lines. <laughs> okay. Um, baking soda. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos before, you know I use baking soda for just about everything. Um, it can be used to clean your fruits and vegetables. It can be used to clean your home, your sink, your bathtub. Um, you can mix it with vinegar. curry. You can mix it with lemon juice. You can use it to brush your teeth with. Um, to freshen the sink, like if you feel like your sink has an odor. You can use it to freshen your carpet. So instead of buying carpet cleaner or the carpet spray, you can actually use baking soda. It has so many different uses. You can even use it in your laundry, especially your whites, because they help to make them brighter. So, I'm glad that they had the four pounder, because the last time, I was only able to get the two pounder, and it didn't last as long, so you see the difference. This is two pounds, this is four pounds, okay? And last but not least, some quinoa. The last time I did buy a smaller bag of quinoa, so this time I decided to get a bigger bag because it seems like I went through this really quickly. I think I ate off of it two times. At least with this bigger bag, I should get at least three or four servings of quinoa because I like to eat. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope that this was very helpful. I'm getting ready to make my cauliflower and just egg that I love so much. And I'm probably going to use my everything bagel seasoning on it. Um, along with some onions and some garlic. Love y'all. Later. Mwah. So we're doing something slightly different. We're going to make the mandarin orange chicken. And I cook them down in a bed of onions. I also have my Brussels sprouts cooking. And in a few minutes, I'm going to add the just egg. I cooked the just egg with the Brussels sprouts this time, and I normally do it separate. So it came out a little bit different than I normally, um, than it normally does. Um, but here is the finished outcome. Right, if you decide to try, I hope you enjoy. Love y'all. Hope this was helpful. Later. Mm -hmm.